everyone. Welcome to ABC Interactive English. I'm Matt. Hello, everybody. I am Shane, and we're still talking about working holidays, right? So, have you ever gone on a working holiday? Yeah, actually, my first time I came to Taiwan to live here, I came with a working holiday visa. So I、oh. was on a working holiday here in Taiwan. Okay, and so how long was your visa for? Like, how long could you stay in Taiwan? So it was one year. Oh. I could stay for a working holiday, and I could work at any job, any job at all.、Really? So there was no limit on what kind of job or where I could work. So you could be a doctor, a lawyer. Of course, my at that time I couldn't speak any Chinese, so、oh. <laughs> I my job opportunities were pretty limited still. Teach English. Yes, so yeah. I ended up teaching English, <laughs>、okay. and also、uh, working here. Oh, okay.、Yeah. Wow, that was many years ago, right? That was a long time ago.、Wow, so、you <laughs> never left. Yeah, well, I left for a short time after my working holiday was over,、ah. and then I decided that I, during that working holiday, I liked Taiwan so much that I came back. Yeah. What did, what, what, what did you love most about Taiwan that you didn't expect? I found it a very comfortable and convenient place to live because, at least in Taipei, the public transit's very good.、Mm -hmm. There's Seven Elevens everywhere, and also everyone's very friendly and helpful all the time, and that makes it a very nice place to live. Yeah, I agree. So it's just very safe, and it's a very、mm -hmm. comfortable place. It's、yeah. easy to stay here and get very comfortable, and then you don't want to leave. That's right.、Yes. That's what happens to a lot、yes. of us.、Mm -hmm. Most of us here. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, let's get into part two of working holiday. Zach gets more information from Brooke. Is a working holiday in New Zealand really a good idea? I have no doubts about it. I'll get to stay there longer than a tourist can. What difference does that make? It makes a lot of difference. For one, I'll gain a better understanding of the local people and culture. I don't think that's helpful. Hello. Today we're looking at part two of working holiday, holiday first, and work second. So in the first part, we have two college students, Brooke and Zach, who are talking about what they want to do after they finish college.、Mm -hmm. And Brooke has said that she is planning to go on a working holiday. Right. Okay. So it's a holiday first. Work second, right?、Mm -hmm. And Zach, Zach has apparently not ever heard of a working holiday, so he's asking Brooke some questions. Well, you know, it's not that common in like North America for us, like in the United States or in Canada, to talk about a working holiday. It's actually you know, pretty common in Canada. Is it probably it's common? It's very common in Canada. In the U.S., we never <laughs> really think about a working holiday. We might take some time off. While we're in school to tr to travel,、mm. or right after we graduate college, we'll go travel. But we don't think of that as a working holiday. Okay. So in in Canada, many many people after they finish college will go to Australia or New Zealand for working holidays, and also many people from Australia and those places will. Will come to Canada to work, and usually they work in ski resorts. is one of the common jobs. Okay, so maybe <laughs> Zach is like me from the United States, so he doesn't know anything about it.、Mm -hmm. Okay, so Zach now is going to get Zach gets more information from Brooke about working holidays. So he's going to get some information.、Mm -hmm. So information is a noun. It's facts or details、uh, about something or about someone.、Mm -hmm. So, you, for example, you can say, "Hey, can you give me some information about the new girl?" No, sorry. No. You told me not to tell you. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> It's terrible. Okay. Okay. So, get more information. So, I'm still Zach, and you will continue to be Brooke. I will still be Brooke. Okay. okay. So, Zach begins by saying, "Is a working holiday in New Zealand really a good idea?"、Mm. So, Zach sounds like he's. Still not sold on the working holiday. Still thinks he's still got some questions about why would you do that? Maybe he thinks he should, why work?、Yeah. Just just go on holiday,、yeah. right? So Brooke says, I have no doubts about it. I'll get to stay there longer than a tourist can.、Oh. So she has no doubts. Okay,、uh -huh. so a doubt is a question or something you are unsure or uncertain about. So when you say you have no doubts. Means you are very sure, you are very confident.、Wow. So maybe if there are 
some storm clouds in the sky, I can say I have no doubt that it will rain soon. Oh, so you're like a weather forecaster. It's just very confident. I already felt the raindrop. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's no doubt. why. There's just no doubt about going there on a working holiday. Not because a tourist can only stay for a short amount of time. Mm -hmm. So if she goes there on a working holiday, she could stay longer. So a tourist is just a person who's traveling or visiting a place just for pleasure. Mm -hmm. So no working. No working. Just go there to have fun. But the problem is then you can't stay as long when you're going to many countries, yeah. right? Uh, an example sentence, a tourist asked me for directions to the museum. Okay. Let me ask you, has that ever happened to you in Taiwan? Because you're a foreigner, have you ever had somebody who asked you for help like a tourist. I have, yeah. I remember one time um, a woman asked me for directions to a building that she had on her, on her brochure. And she pointed to it and said, where's this building? I said, it's back there, but it's still under construction. <laughs> and so I knew this building was not finished yet. Ah. But in her, in, the, her, in her information that she had, it said that it was already finished. So she was very confident that it was finished and I was like no it's not finished it's over there she's like no it's finished it's <laughs> not there and she wow. argued with me oh wow so you had a <laughs> was bad experience yeah it was you got in an argument with a tourist <laughs> yes uh, well I just walked away after <laughs> <laughs> you're like ah yeah okay so Zach continues and says what difference does that make hmm. Hmm. so we're saying like why is that better or why is that worse why is it different what difference does it make right Okay. Brooke says, it makes a lot of difference. For one, I'll gain a better understanding of the local people and culture. Mm, okay, so if you stay there longer, of course you're going to get a better understanding. And if you're working in mm -hmm. that country, you're going to kind of see more about the culture and mm -hmm. the people in the country that you're working in, right? Yep, and here she's talking about gaining a better understanding. Mm -hmm. So to gain is a verb and it means to get more of something and usually something that is good or wanted or beneficial. So it's good for you, it's something you want. But I know that my wife is always worried she's going to gain weight. <laughs> See, I don't think she thinks that's very good. Well, it's usually something that's <laughs> wanted, but yes, we also use it for gaining weight. And yeah. gaining weight isn't always bad or good. It's just something that yes. happens. You can gain or lose weight, and it's not a bad thing. In fact, mm. to lose weight, usually you think to lose something is bad. Ah, right. But most people will think that losing weight is something good. <laughs> so if you gain understanding about something, that's a good thing, right? So what is understanding? Understanding is just knowledge about something or about someone. Mm -hmm. So for example, you can say, my understanding is that it will rain all weekend. Ooh, that's no good. Yeah. We can also say, you know, if I have an understanding of science, means I know about science. Do you have a good understanding of Chinese? Uh, I think I do now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you've been here a while, yeah. right? Okay, so Zach continues and says, I don't think that's helpful. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Why? Well, I think Zach's being very negative because it probably is helpful, and uh -huh. helpful is an adjective, means it's well, it's full of help, or it's something that helps you or assists you, makes things easier for you. So it will be right. helpful to have some knowledge of local people and culture. Yeah, I don't really know why Zach thinks it wouldn't be helpful. I don't know. Maybe, you know, maybe Brooke can convince him why a working holiday is good after the break. All right, let's, let's see. Well, it is. For another, I'll get overseas work experience. Many employers want that when they hire new people. Oh, that part is useful. Most importantly, I'll keep growing and improving. Welcome back, everybody. Okay, so before the break, Zach is a little bit confused about why it would be important to learn something about the local people and the culture, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, and he just said, he said, I don't think that's helpful. So he doesn't think it's helpful to learn about local people and culture. Mm -hmm. So Brooke responds, well, it is. <laughs> <laughs> 
And it is, right? I mean, how could you think it wouldn't be useful? Mm. So she's just telling Zach, you're wrong. It is helpful. <laughs> it is. Yes. For another, I'll get overseas work experience. Uh, okay. Many employers want that when they hire new people. Okay, so instead of just going somewhere for pleasure, mm -hmm. just traveling as a tourist, if you work somewhere, maybe when you go back to your home country and you want to get a job, mm -hmm. The employers will think, hey, that's really good. You gained a lot of experience working overseas, right? Yeah. So an employer is a person or a company that pays people to work for them. Mm -hmm. We also use the word employee for the person who works mm -hmm. at a job for the employer. Right. So if you hire someone to work for you, you are an employer. If you get hired to work by somebody, you're the employee. Mm -hmm. So for example, you can say, my employer is very kind to her employees. Okay, well that's always nice. So we have another word which is to hire. So hire means to give someone a job or to let someone work for you. So an employer needs to hire employees and so the boss needs to hire people to work at his company. And it rhymes with another word. If you hire somebody and then you get rid of them, you fire, fire them, somebody. right? So hopefully if you get hired somewhere, you mm. won't get fired. Yes, it's better to get hired than to get fired. <laughs> okay, so Zach continues, oh, that part is useful. Mm. <laughs> okay, so now he's thinking, okay, that, at least that's useful. At least having some overseas experience is useful, according to Zach. Because he can get a better job, mm. maybe. Yeah. Okay. So Brooke says, most importantly, I'll keep growing and improving. Mm, okay. So we have a vocabulary word here, useful. So something is full of use, it's useful. It just means that something, if something's useful, it helps you do or get something that you want. Mm -hmm. So for example, you could say English is a very useful language in the business world. That is true. All right. So she said, I'll keep growing and improving. Mm -hmm. So when she says growing here, first she doesn't mean she's going to get taller or fatter or anything like that. She means growing in terms of gaining experience, getting better, becoming a better person. Right. And also as she says, improving. Yeah. So improving is a verb which means getting better. Right. So uh, I have been practicing skiing and I am improving. Oh, Getting really? better at skiing. Where do you go skiing in Taiwan? Well, uh, you can, you know, you get video a video game? No, there's actually some indoor skiing where oh. you can go. Yeah. Oh, that's really useful when you're in Taiwan because there is no snow anywhere. It is good. It's a nice way to cool down, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's all the time we have for today. We hope you have found this lesson very useful. And I think we have another part to talk about after yeah. this. All right, we'll see you next time. Okay. Zach gets more information from Brooke. Is a working holiday in New Zealand really a good idea? I have no doubts about it. I'll get to stay there longer than a tourist can. What difference does that make? It makes a lot of difference. For one, I'll gain a better understanding of the local people and culture. I don't think that's helpful. Well, it is. For another, I'll get overseas work experience. Many employers want that when they hire new people. Oh, that part is useful. Most importantly, I'll keep growing and improving. Hi, I'm Tina. We're going to look at the key words. First, gain. 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 What do you hope to gain from this class? Do you want to learn from this class? 下一个单词 helpful, helpful 形容词，有帮助的，有益的。Your information is helpful. Thanks a lot. 你的资讯很有帮助，十分感谢。下一个单词 hire, hire 动词，雇佣。The company is going to hire more engineers. 这间公司打算雇佣更多的工程师。最后一个单词 useful, useful 形容词，有用的。The man gave us some useful information. 
，那位男子给了我们一些很有用的资讯。接着我们来看重点文法。第一个 ，Somebody has no doubts about something， 某人对于某事物毫无疑虑，也就是某人相信某事物咯。Doubt 指的是怀疑、疑虑，在这里习惯用复数哦。我们来看看这个例句。I have no doubts about what you said. 我相信你所说的。下一个文法 make a difference， 有所差别，带来改变。Difference 是差别、不同之处的意思。我们来看看这个例句 ：What you said made a difference. 你说的话让情况有所改变。接着我们来看下一个文法 ：For one, for another. 一方面怎么样？另一方面又怎么样呢？我们来看看这个例句。You need to exercise more. For one, it's good for your health. For another, it helps you get better sleep. 你需要多多运动。一方面，它对你的健康有好处；另一方面，它帮助你获得更好的睡眠。以上就是这一课的重点单词跟文法。我们下一课再见喽，拜拜。Hello, I'm Matt. I'm Chi Wen. We're going to play Word Rock. We tap three cards that we haven't looked at yet, and on these cards are vocabulary words or phrases that we need to fit into a conversation as smoothly as we can. So, are you ready to get our conversation started? Yeah, I'm、oh. ready. All right. Okay. Let's begin. <laughs> okay.、Um, so, I've just been talking a lot with. Friends lately, and seeing what everyone's up to in in life, you know whether they have new girlfriends, new boyfriends, if they're looking for a job. And one of my friends is at this company, and they're looking to hire someone. Oh wow, that is good. I wonder if you know I could use more work. So if you could offer me the job, that would help probably. And、uh, depending on what kind of area it's in, I can do many things. And、um, I often, because I've done many things in the past, I still do many things, and it's really、um, because from doing many things, I really, I really、uh, gained a variety of experience. Oh, that's awesome!、Yeah. You know what? I actually think you would be a good fit at my friend's company. You, just from talking to you, your experience, like you said, and the different things that you've done, I think it would be really helpful for my friend's company. Okay,、um, yeah, and <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. So,、um, yeah. So I don't want to talk about work all day. So let's talk about.、Um, I got this new、um, tablet recently, tablet computer, and I'm really enjoying using it. I, I didn't think I'd use it much when I got it because it was just a gift that someone gave to me, and I thought I have no use for it. But now that I have it, I find I can use it to watch movies on airplanes when I'm traveling. So it's actually really useful. Wow. <laughs> I've always wondered if having a tablet would be a good idea to have at home. Do you think that? Well, I don't know. Maybe it depends on the way that you work. But for some people, I can see how productivity-wise, it would really make a difference. Yeah, I've actually started using it.、Um, started bringing it always when I travel, and I also have a portable keyboard for it, so that I can actually do some work either on a plane or in my hotel room. And it's really, you know, helped me a lot. I think in terms of like. Not having to worry when I go to travel about having work to finish when I get back because I can just finish it as I'm traveling, and then it gives me more free time, and I now have no doubts about how it's up to my productivity. That's cool. That's cool.、Um, you know what? That makes me think about like maybe I should get a tablet.